So next, let's talk about the most famous and probably most dreaded side effect of ibuprofen and indeed all non-steroidals, which is the effect that they have on the stomach. So certain prostaglandins are involved in the normal physiology of the stomach and their role there is actually in reducing the production of stomach acid by the lining of the stomach. So the effect of taking ibuprofen or a non-steroidal that stops the production of those prostaglandins in the stomach is that it increases the production of acid by the lining of the stomach. So stomach acidity gets worse. And the great fear of this is one, it will cause pain, it will irritate the lining of the stomach, irritate the lining of the bottom of the esophagus, irritate the lining of the first part of the duodenum. But much more than just a bit of epigastric pain, we fear that it will actually cause a proper erosion into the wall of any of those free structures, so the wall of the esophagus, the wall of the stomach, or the wall of the duodenum, and ulcerate the wall of that structure. And ulcers Esophageal ulcers, gastric ulcers, duodenal ulcers, those can, one, bleed, and you can lose potentially huge amounts of blood into the gastrointestinal tract that potentially will cause hemodynamic instability. And two, the massive fear is that those ulcers might actually perforate, and once they've perforated, contents will then spill out of them, either into the mediastinum, if we're talking about an esophageal ulcer, or into the peritoneum if we're talking about a gastric or duodenal ulcer, and that will make you majorly unwell. That will cause sepsis, um, because perforation like that and the content spitting out will lead to major cytokine production by that site uh, and potentially uh, completely destabilise major organ systems of the body and put you in life-threatening danger. So I've written some of this down here. So we're very worried about ulcers, esophageal, gastric, duodenal ulcers, because of the fact that this drug increases stomach acid production by the lining of the stomach. And the big fear of what those ulcers can cause is a lot of pain, but also GI bleeding. And this is the nice abbreviation that we use here, upper GI bleed, UGIB is what this means, uh, which can potentially cause massive blood loss and hemodynamic instability. Uh, and then even worse, potentially, perforation, which will make someone extremely sick very quickly. And this fear is one of the major reasons that we avoid prescribing non-steroidals to elderly people, because when you're elderly, and elderly is usually classed in medicine as greater than 60 years of age, when you're elderly, every part of your body is just a bit more frail, a bit more fragile, and that includes your stomach and your duodenum and your esophagus. And it's more vulnerable to ulcerating from an increase in stomach acidity than in a young person. So a young 20-year-old, you can imagine that their stomach is a lot more sturdy and a bit of an increase in the, in the acidity of the stomach contents might not be able to burn a hole in it. Uh, whereas a frail elderly person, their stomach's much more fragile uh, and it's more vulnerable to ulcerating. The other reason is that elderly people are probably on other medications and a lot of other medicines can also increase stomach acidity. Uh, so especially if they're on other medicines that are con also contributing to this effect, you don't want to be putting them on ibuprofen, which is going to worsen it. Uh, so this is a massive, massive fear whenever you prescribe ibuprofen. And I would say it is one of the biggest things that comes immediately to mind uh, when I consider prescribing this, I think, does this person have any sort of risk that they're going to develop a stomach ulcer from me prescribing this drug? And I will therefore want to know what other medicines are they taking in particular? Are they on any medicines that are also going to increase stomach acidity? Plus, are they on any drugs that are deliberately there to decrease stomach acidity? So if they take omeprazole or ranitidine, uh, and I've made previous videos on those drugs. Those are drugs that uh, decrease stomach acidity. They're treatments for too high stomach acidity. If they're on those drugs, it implies that potentially they've had previous stomach problems. They've been to their doctor previously and complained of epigastric pains from too acidic stomach conditions. Uh, and that, again, would be a reason that I wouldn't want to prescribe them a drug that's going to worsen that and potentially lead to them developing an ulcer.
So just to make this crystal clear, there are three cases here where I would advise you to be extremely cautious about prescribing ibuprofen and you need to carefully weigh up whether you think the uh, benefit outweighs the risks. And if you think there are significant risks, just don't prescribe it. So case number one is if the individual has known previous problems with stomach acidity. So if they're already on medicines like a meprazole or remitidine that are deliberately taken to reduce stomach acidity, you need to be extremely cautious about prescribing them a drug that is going to increase stomach acidity. Uh, and it is likely the case that the risk uh, or the potential cons of this drug are going to outweigh the benefits. So I probably wouldn't prescribe them ibuprofen unless I genuinely had a really strong argument about how this drug is going to majorly benefit them. Case number two is if they're on medicines that already increase stomach acidity. Again, there you need to carefully weigh up, do you think the benefit is going to outweigh the risk? And if the answer is no, don't prescribe it. Especially if there are multiple medicines already that you know are going to increase stomach acidity and irritate the wall of the stomach, then don't add in a further drug that's going to do that. Don't prescribe ibuprofen. Again, unless there is an absolutely crystal clear reason why they have to have ibuprofen, why it's really going to benefit them, don't prescribe it. Uh, and then case number three is in the case where the patient is elderly, i.e. over the age of 60, and they're frail, you know, fragile body. Uh, again, you don't want to be giving them a drug that's going to increase their stomach acidity and put them at risk of ulceration. Again, if you're going to prescribe it to that group of person, you need to have a really good reason why you're going to do it and why the benefit outweighs the risk. And if the benefit doesn't outweigh the risk, just don't prescribe it. Uh, and just to clarify, you can prescribe ibuprofen and other non steroidals to people over the age of 60. It's not a blanket ban. It's not a categorical contraindication. It's just a caution. Be cautious in prescribing it to people over the age of 60. Look at the person. Is the person very frail and fragile? Be very cautious in them. If they're more built, uh, robust, you know, it's a fit 70-year-old man on no medications, then maybe you're going to be less worried about prescribing the ibuprofen. Uh, so it's a caution rather than an absolute contraindication being over the age of 60.